people are earning less, have less opportunities, have less hours of work, have less ability to be included because we've set up systems on the basis of gender and disability. They were like, oh, like, we're just going to give you, like, cleaning jobs and, like, jobs that are more suited for females. So I'm like, no, thank you. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm just starting to realize that, um, you know, women aren't as appreciated in the workforce. Whenever you're working with people, particularly young people, I think it's always really important that you think about the biases and assumptions you may hold about who they are and what they're capable of and how much of that is based on your assumptions about their gender. I can do the job as long as I have the same skill set as somebody. I just may have to do it with some adaptation. Whenever we talked about like employment in school, our teachers, some of them definitely <laughs> took our gender into consideration. And if I didn't give an answer he thought fit me, he would try and steer me to another choice. I do sometimes regret not following what I wanted to do. I see men with diverse abilities doing many different unique things and then women with diverse abilities do. We want to get out there, but the people around us aren't letting us get out there. This power struggle, if you're a woman, this is where you belong. If you're a male, this is where you belong. And if you're in the disability, well, then you're just up a creek without a battle. We already are suffering from um, a poverty of expectation for people with disabilities, and then you compound that with a gender lens. We're really not setting people up for success. People way before I was born were saying this is a problem. How is this still a problem? How are we still not talking about how the people who are benefiting the most from these inequalities are the people who are having the least involvement in doing anything about it and the least involvement in changing their mindsets and the least involvement in shifting the dialogue on this. I don't normally talk about it too much anymore because of school. I kind of keep my mouth shut about employment and stuff, but now I get the chance to actually talk about it, which makes me feel like I can actually help out a bit more. Girls can do anything, and people with disabilities can do anything they set their minds to. If women with diverse abilities get out there more. That will prove to everybody else about how capable they are. There's so much possibility that we are refusing to see and refusing to encourage and nurture. For gender and employment across the board in the future, everything is equal. So regardless of if you're a woman, transgender, male, have a disability, don't have a disability. That is my vision. I'm never gonna get a good job that's gonna accept me for who I am unless I fight for it.